are everyone, it is our reversal. Welcome back to another episode of Knights and Dragons, the road to the very first legendary episode number three. And today we're going to be talking about progression once again. As you guys can see, I'm level 18 right now. So I actually did a few levels here and there. But then again, I wasn't really all that active throughout the entire day. I played pretty casually and I am still quite satisfied with the progression I've been making. So it doesn't really, you don't really need to be online all that much. As long as you collect your money all the time, it's going to be just fine. And uh, about the topic of collecting money, you see this weird building over here? This is a training field, level 2. I want to be adding and the reason why I decided to go with level 2 one and not another building is because it is nighttime pretty soon and I won't have the ability to grind more money to actually go for another trading field level 1 so that's why I decided to just upgrade it to level 2 and by the moment I'll wake up tomorrow this one will have like 16,000 gold uh, which I can use towards my next like training field and I'm pretty sure that tomorrow I'll have my next training field as well So that's quite exciting news. So that's just what I would recommend to you guys uh, in terms of the overall map uh, Right now. I actually got up to the next stage the cold rocks cracks I think I'm gonna be here for like another day because uh, this is actually pretty tough and I uh, am weak against air so that is the reason why this one can be quite tough but luckily for me I actually got some friends to help me out now before we actually get into that I am currently leveling up on skeleton stump and the reason for that is uh, if we level up here you actually got a chance of getting a different type of material than usual so hopefully I'm able to show it off to you guys so we're just gonna go here I always do the normal stage it actually gives you pretty decent experience and if you just keep on doing this and keep on doing this eventually you'll be getting to the point where you're able to I, I'm actually right now on the ability to defeat the stage quite comfortably without losing too many units and they do like seven damage or something like that on weaker units and they do like three or four damage on like for example um, this guy in the back I don't even know it's a fine wood carapace or even this guy it's level uh, uh, it's also pretty high leveled as well right now at this point and this is the last stage and if you do a special attack on this boss I hope I'm able to show it off to you guys but otherwise I'll just tell you you have a chance of uh, getting either stone slaps or these guys which are the the snake skin leather strips and those are really helpful and I'm gonna show it off to you guys why that is so let's go ahead and actually go to the armor smith and first gonna collect the money because that's time efficient it takes like a second and here we are armor smith and if we are here uh, you see over here the very first one are snake skin armors and snake skin armors they cost quite a bit so that is the whole reason why I'm not crafting them right now I'll rather just save up until I have everything full with training grounds and then push them out there and in the meantime, I can just craft a few basic armors here and there. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, snake skin straps are really great because the armors gives a lot of experience. So that's just what I would recommend later on, especially when leveling up armors. It takes just a while uh, with basic armors where snake skin straps are just a lot easier than just basic armors. So yeah, that is a topic for another video. What I wanted to give you guys as a tip today... And what helped me out as well unlocking this stage is having the right friends. And the tip of today is how can you get a couple of good friends to help you out. And um, I actually have two really great ways in order to get your friends. And it works really, really fast. Allow me to show it off to you guys. Right now, I actually use the method that I usually use for like 10 minutes. And these are the friends that I'm having. And, and take my word for it, I didn't accept any friends requests from YouTube because I didn't show my friends code off to you guys. And I just, I'm just going to show you guys the trick in just a second. But these guys are level 100 plus and check their profiles. They're pretty strong people out there and they're going to be capable of helping you guys out during the epic boss, which is going to be really, really great. And this last guy... Look at the stats here, really crazy stats and hopefully he will, uh, you know, there's a chance that he's going to kick you off, but that is okay, you know, he got a lot of, if you actually spend like half an hour using this method I'm about to show you guys, it's going to work out just fine. So first things first, the first way to get a lot of friends is by going towards the uh, damage leaderboard of the epic boss and if we go here, um, you're going to be seeing your stats, but if you press the very first fast forward button, you're going to go to the people who do the most damage right off the bat. And what you want to be doing is actually go down a few pages until you cannot do it anymore. So right now I'm at the page I cannot go down anymore. What you can do is go back one page and try to go back further. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this case I can go up to like 50, 
I can go up to like 60 and I'm trying the same way once again. It doesn't work out. I'll retry it once again, but I can't. And I just go this way until I'm up to like uh, page 150. And once we actually reach our destination, what you're going to be doing is you're going to go check all of these people's profiles out. And you're just going to be adding them to the game. You're just going to be adding them, all of them. Because these guys are all level 100 and above. And those people are going to be the strongest. Have probably better armors than you do, which is uh, a given. And some of them will accept you. In this case... Whenever I use this method, I got 28 people to accept me. Let me actually check if I got a notification. No, I don't, but that is okay. But um, that is one way to do it. The next way, which might even be more efficient, is going by the arena. Because I'm pretty sure that if you go to the epic boss, a lot of people are doing the same thing. Because they know strong people take down the epic boss. Well, there's another way to do this. Let's go to the leaderboards and take a look at this. Your rank. This is my rank right now. Press view overall. And you're just going to press the fast or fast back button or fast forward button or anything like that. Until you are at like, let, let's say between rank 1000 and rank 5000. And over here, you got a lot of strong people. Like for example, Justin over here. Look at his armor. He's really strong. Let's just add him to a friend. And then you're going to go back one page and you're going to find people once again. And for example, this guy over here, Blitz, he's really strong as well. You're just going to look at all of the level 100 and above people. And you're just going to add those people to your friends. And that is just like, if you do that for half an hour, I'm pretty sure your friends list will be full. With all of those great people that are going to help you out. And I'm pretty sure that some of, you, some of those guys will be kicking you out. But the thing is, it works really efficient for me. Uh, back when I started my YouTube career on Knights and Dragons, um, I played when Glacius was the epic boss and I took it down that very first week I started that account up. So if you're doing things efficiently and if you're able to, uh, to just get the right friends to help you out, you're definitely able to take down the epic boss on level 15 really easily. And if you want proof of that, go to the very first videos that I, um, that I put here on YouTube and that way you're able to see it for yourself. So that is the tip of today. How to get your friends, Epic Boss leaderboards and of course the Arena leaderboards. And I hope it helps you out. And that being said, that's going to be concluding today's episode because it's really late already. Tomorrow's episode is going to be covering a little bit more of the arena and some progression, of course, as well. So make sure you guys look forward to that. On that note, I'm going to be rounding things off here. So as always, make sure that if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And as always, this has been Reversal for Knights and Dragons. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys back again tomorrow. Hey you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm also available on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook and other social media links. Links in the video description and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for your daily doses of reversalness. Is that even a word?